Jimmy is one of the most enigmatic people I, I've ever met. A very lonely sort of person of enormous self-regard. He was the sort of person that was was so unsocialized that I think he could steal himself for, you know, the kind of actions that he later took. He was a journalist, and he was a crusading journalist. He was a warrior with his pen and with his conscience. He was the most important voice uh, raised against the Japanese-American evacuation during World War II, and I, he's a heroic figure. I mean, he. He took a, a course that was highly atypical, and he paid a, a steep price for it, being, you know, marginalized by his own community. But the good consequences, of course, of, of, of him de registering his voice of dissent was that we have a usable past to be able to draw upon when we think about, you know, the refurbishment of, of American and constitutional ideals. And if he hadn't have registered that voice, it would have been lost. Mike Masoka was the first paid employee for the JCL, a well-connected person with politicians and professors over at the University of Utah because he had been a debater and a, a golden-throated speaker. And because of his speech background, he also had a, a tendency to be able to sacrifice descriptions of reality for rhetorical flourish. I think Mike Masaoka's message, more than anything else, was that we have a contract with the government, an understanding that we will do our part and make any sacrifice that needs to be made. And one of the best things that we could do at this particular time is to be able to shed our blood for the United States. Mike, of course, having set this uh, policy in motion, was obliged to deliver the goods in the terms of his own. So he was the first person to volunteer for the military, and he and his brothers all served. The difference was that Mike never served in a combat position. Mike was, by his own acknowledgement, definitely a desk jockey. He was just basically a publicist. Ben Karoki was the first war hero of the Nisei. And when he came back to the United States, this acclaim was capitalized upon by the government through the War Department with the urgings, in my opinion, of the Japanese American Citizens League. This was a way to really sell participation in the war effort. And so he became a stalking horse and a protein symbol for the things that the JACL wanted to put across. He was sent on a tour of duty to three different camps in the spring of 1944. And the first camp he was sent to was not an accident. It was Hart Mountain. It was where the most descent was and where they were having the most problem trying to put over the idea of the draft. He had either asked for a meeting with the Fair Play Committee or this was imposed upon him, but he had a meeting with them and it, it turned out to be a very tempestuous meeting. And in fact, uh, he was challenged to a fist fight. Uh, and uh, this is quite amazing when you think about it. Here is a a war hero with a record of 30 bombing missions, et cetera, comes into a quote unquote relocation center and finds himself about to be sort of uh, chosen off by uh, some people who take a quite different uh, perspective on things. He had a kind of a, a rhetoric that was a result of him not really knowing anything about Japan or knowing anything about Japanese American thing. And he says all of the wrong things as far as the Issei go. I mean, although it's Nisei protesting this draft, there's a lot of Issei involved in that whole sentiment. And he comes in and talking about bombing the rice out of our honorable, dishonorable ancestors in Japan and everything. And he just sounded like he had been wound up by the right people to say the right things. And in some cases, it was applauded. And in other cases, it was just absolutely uh, ridiculed and reviled. And so he became a very mixed symbol, and I don't think they were counting on that. I don't think that the JACL understood how deeply layered was the resistance to the resumption of the draft. I think they just thought it was some leaders and the Fair Play Committee, and that was it, and it was more than that.